Shout out to G-Man Boxing. All right, people. A little bit after midnight last night, Anthony Joshua, in an interview with Behind the Gloves, has declared his new trainer. And it's a bit of an anticlimax. I was thinking Stacey McKinley, James Ali Bashir, Ronnie Shields, someone like that. Well, even though AJ went around the US, went to several different gyms, was in with Eddie Reynoso, was in with Ronnie Shields, was in with Virgil Hunter, etc., etc., Stacey McKinley. AJ has declared that Angel Fernandez is now the main trainer. Fernandez has been AJ's assistant coach for several years uh, and will now head the camp. So AJ basically is essentially just promoting Angel Fernandez to head trainer. Now Fernandez, he first came to my attention during the Pavekin fight because AJ looked to have changed up his style. He looked to have changed his style. He worked with Adrian Fernandez and Rob McCracken in that fight. And the way AJ was looking in that Pavekin fight, I liked what he was doing with certain things. He was boxing a lot more. He was keeping that range. He was boxing the Pavekin's body and he was closing the show when he needed to. He was counter-punching quite well. F Fernandez, I don't... Uh, part of me just thinks... is. Part of me just wonders, is AJ just so happy in his surroundings? You know what I mean? That maybe he feels like, well, I need to change Rob McCracken, but I don't want to change everything. I want to stay in my surroundings. I don't know would he stay in Sheffield, but he's certainly probably going to be still in the UK, I would imagine. The team, I wouldn't imagine, is going to try and change dramatically. I would imagine it's just probably McCracken gone. So, essentially, you're going to be dealing with I don't want to say the same team per se. Maybe he will bring in one or two new guys as well. Maybe underneath, you know, guys who are, you know, not at training level or anything like that. But maybe just an extra couple of, you know, eyes and ears there in the corner. I don't know. But essentially, he's not really changing much up. I think that he missed the ball, um, especially with James Ali Bashir going into a new sec rematch. Um, potentially, because he might have an interim fight and... Again, AJ was... This is the thing about AJ. He's coming out in all these interviews. And I seen a quote from an interview there a while ago. He was like, I'll fight whoever next. I'll fight anyone. I don't give a F. And for me, it's almost like a man who... he He's trying so hard to keep face. And to look like, you know, the hard man after that loss. That's how it kind of looks to me. You know, some people might disagree and say he needs to talk like that. He needs to show a bit of, you know... A little bit of meanness in the wake of the USAC loss. And potentially he could. But for me I just think it's very forced. I think that like whenever he's on camera now. It's like he's trying to, to come across as you know. A, a, a bad guy you know. Yeah I'm a big hard man. And, and what? You know. And for me it just seems forced. But anyway. Angel Fernandez. Um, well he needed to get rid of Rob McCracken. But I really do think he missed the boat. With not taking an experienced trainer certainly an experienced trainer who's used to training heavyweights as well fernandez he obviously has a rapport with him he obviously trusts him but i'll, I'll give you a good example right so going into the usec first fight angel fernandez would have been the main guy in aj's camp for the first half of that camp do you know why because mccracken would have been away at the summer olympics was it in japan was it in japan yeah, i think it was in japan um yeah beijing that's where the Olympics were um, this year. Well, the year just gone. So AJ would have started that camp with Fernandez and ended it with McCracken. And it didn't appear to me that anything that Fernandez really teaches, not to say, like, I'm sure maybe McCracken said, I'll change it up completely and do whatever, whatever, I don't know. But you would have thought that AJ would have been able to, you know, look a little bit more competitive in that Usek first fight. The Usek fight now at this stage, it's kind of up in the air, given what, you know, Usyk is doing over there in Ukraine um, with the stuff. We're not going to go into that. Um, but yeah, it, it, could be a, it could be pushed back a while. At the end of the day, I, I just don't... James Ali Bashir has worked with Alexander Usyk. He's worked with heavyweights. He would have been a very, very good pick for Anthony Joshua. Very good pick, as would Stacey McKinley. I just think that AJ, maybe it's this, like Eddie Hearn's been harping on, as has Bellew, about loyalty. Loyalty, 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 loyalty. Like, I want to keep the loyalty, but I need to move on from McCracken. So I'll take Angel Fernandez, who 
maybe it's going to turn me into you know a masterful boxer so i can outbox Usyk. because remember aj was talking about he was talking quite a lot about putting it on Usyk. you know really going for the kill going in there and just putting it on him you know just really going on it from the start then he kind of swapped it because around about Christmas time, he was giving the interviews where he was saying, oh, Usyk won more rounds. Well, this time, I'll win more rounds. And that kind of implied to me that he was thinking in his head, maybe this going in and putting it on Usyk won't work. Maybe AJ himself kind of realised, ooh, that could rear, that could end badly very quick. And I think it would have. Maybe now he's thinking, if I get someone who really knows, in his mind maybe, not to say Angel Fernandez could be a bad trainer, he might turn out to be a revelation, who knows. But maybe AJ is thinking... This guy could teach me how to be a better boxer, so I can outbox the boxer. I think that's not a good idea. You ain't outboxing Alexander Usyk. I don't. You're not outboxing unless Usyk absolutely regresses like hell. You're not outboxing Usyk. So that's my thoughts on the whole situation. Like I said, Angel Fernandez, now the main trainer of Anthony Joshua. For me, a bit of an anticlimax. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think AJ, as I said, missed the ball not taking an American trainer experience with heavyweights. Um, I wonder where he's going to base his camp. Is he going to keep it in Sheffield? And imagine not. Um, but I'd say he's going to keep it in the UK, probably close to home. So watch the space. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens with AJ Usyk when that's going to be announced. Uh, how far it's going to get pushed back, if in fact at all. Watch the space. For now, lads and lassies, I'll leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could, lads and lassies, smash the like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'll talk to you. Peace.